the sneaky works back today. Today I've got something little for you to look at from the new Puppy 5.2. Somebody's made a little add-on. So I'm going to open up Quick Pet and I'm going to go straight to the news section. And we'll go click on the news bit there where you get all the newbies and stuff and stuff like that. Now somebody's made something called the Pup Combo Plus, which is basically a puppy control center or control panel. And you can actually do everything from there, which is pretty spondylicious, don't you think? So what we're going to do, we're going to download that and I'm going to install it and show you what it's all about and what it looks like. So we're going to save the download, it takes a few seconds and we're done. It's a really tiny, tiny download, so it does a lot for what it does. Yeah, you really, get a lot. So yeah, that's all downloaded. We'll get rid of that page. We'll go over to my file system, click on the file system, and there's my little pet file just downloaded. So Pup Combo Plus 1.1. You click on it once, puppy style, as you normally would do, and then click OK. And in theory, it should start installing for you, which it does. I say it's theory, you know, I'm just winding you up as I'm going. I'm a bit worried, a bit weird. Anyway, wait a bit, will you wait a bit, will you wait? Here we go, and we're done. And it's successfully installed under setup. So we'll click OK there. And we'll wait for the tango bar to do its tango stuff and slap us on the face. It takes a bit longer, really, nowadays, isn't it? Yeah. A bit about that advert, though, wouldn't it? Oh, well, they banned that. It was quite funny. Never mind. So we wait, and we wait, and we do some more of the waity. I'm going to have a bit of my peppermint tea I've got today. Mm, yes, peppermint. Mmm, no. Mmm. Lovely. Oh, it's gone. Okay. We will get rid of that. And we're going to get up to the top section up here, up the top there, where you'll see setup. Can you see it there? There it is, the setup. We click on it once, puppy styly again, as I say. You can change it to two clicks if you want, but hey, who cares? So we've got the puppy control panel. Now from here, you can do nearly everything you need to do with your pup install, which is rather good. I mean, as you can see, you do your times, you do your formats, etc. on that section. So I'll click there just to show you. There's our preferences. So we've got our basic apps, so Rocks for me, File Manager, P Find for me, Finder. There's been network apps, so we've got wireless internet here, which I haven't got because I'm, I'm a wired section. Well, I'm wired guy, and I'm wired. Basic set, what wallpaper we use, the file backup, what grub config do we use, notes manager, schedule manager, task manager, time manager, etc, etc, etc. Rather good, I thought, didn't you think so? Yeah. Oh, we'll come back, didn't have to click on it again, even better. So under network, we've been there, but you can also do your firewall and check your internet connection and your network information even. So that's another good one too. Under manager, we've been through some of that just a minute ago. So some of it is duplicated, but it's a nice fully featured little app for a puppy where you can actually do everything from the one section. Even add and remove programs and boot diskettes. Do we still do that? Quick pets. Remaster puppy. Now I know for a fact you can only remaster puppy from the live CD, so I don't think that's going to work, is it? Because this is a full install. No, of course not. Got I've been asleep for a couple of days, I missed something. So no, if you do want to remaster your own pup, it has to be done from the live CD, but it's easy to do anyway. I've asked somebody to do it before, you never bleed and do it, oh dear. No, you don't. You can do your Exog Video Wizards here, do your drives here from my CD drive, my DVD drive, do your G-Party, do your grab, everything you need to resize your puppy files. Even. And for your desktop, you can do all your desktop, all your menus, your icons, your fonts and your wallpapers. So we'll open the wallpaper up, we'll just quickly change the wallpaper to New England Mist. That's one of the standard ones in Pup now. I know what it looks like, so I'm just going to click Apply. And there you go, look. Nicey, nicey, nicey. Well, I thought it was nicey, nicey anyway. Yeah, but it's nice you can do everything from the one section now, which I really like. So yeah, if you've got Puppy 5.2, go and give it a bit of a go, because it looks really nice and it's easy to use. Sneaky Linux going out to play. I'll see you later.